Hi there, I'm Angus Stewart, Doctor of the Dirt, and this is Lily Van Eppen, Carer of the Compost. And we're here to show you a wonderful way to turn all your household organic stuff into beautiful, rich fertiliser for your garden. Now, compost heaps traditionally have been just a pile on the ground. And I love to do what I can for the environment. But if you've got a small garden that doubles as an outdoor room, what are you going to do? And I've got to be honest, sitting down there relaxing, I don't want to be watching mice jump around my compost heap. Well, I think we've got the perfect solution here. This is the Tumbleweed 140 litre compost tumbler. And it's designed to go into a small space and just take enough material that you'll get out of a very small garden. So your prunings, your kitchen scraps, uh, just tiny volumes of organic materials and it composts them absolutely brilliantly. The frame is powder coated stainless steel that's built to last and it's on wheels so you can easily move it around to wherever it's needed. And the barrel is made from 100% recycled plastic so it's incredibly environmentally friendly. Wow Angus, it looks schmick but <laughs> I'm only licensed to drive a wheelbarrow on a car. Well, this tumbler is so simple to operate that anyone of any age can drive it. That's the great thing about it. To get your compost tumbler started, you need a bedding about 100 millimetres deep of a low nutrient material, such as these dried lawn clippings and leaf litter. You then need to add a layer about 50 millimetres thick of mature compost or moist black topsoil as this brings the microbes that make the composting process happen. Once the tumbler is up and running, you need to add a balance of materials to keep it fired up. So for each bucket of low nutrient material, such as garden prunings, you should then add a similar volume of high nutrient material, such as your kitchen scraps, and then follow that with more low nutrient stuff, such as shredded paper or cardboard. It's also a good idea to add a few handfuls of well-rotted chicken or cow manure every couple of weeks. Okay, Angus, it looks like you're the barrel boy today. So why do we need to spin the fabulous Villa compost? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Firstly, we need to make our magic compost pudding and really mix all the ingredients together. And secondly, we need lots of oxygen there because the good microbes that do all the composting need to breathe. So it's really a matter of just kind of getting in there and really mixing it well. And now is there an art to doing it or do I just spin it? Yeah, well actually there is an art to it. So we need to sort of mix it both ways so that you get a really thorough mixing. And if we do it fairly slowly, the compost actually falls down and helps to mix it really thoroughly. So what about the worm farm and compost conditioner? Ah, well that is what you need over time because each time you add more material, and you can do this every few days or every week. Uh, so you put in say some kitchen scraps or some lawn clippings and just a sprinkle of that over the top keeps the compost heap nice and sweet. So close her up again and uh, then give her another spin. And the job's right. Now Angus, can I just pop this on my garden straight away or do I have to wait? It basically needs about six weeks from the last time you add some material. You need to just keep turning the tumbler and that fully matures the compost. So it's really ready to roll. And at that point you open up the lid and you're able to extract the compost. And the winner is the environment because your earth matters. <laughs>